In our second chapter, is matter around a sphere? Today, we'll discuss classification of matter. Matter is classified into two types, pure substances and impure substances. See, in our daily life, we'll come in contact with the many substances. Some are pure, some are impure. And normally, we prefer pure substances in our daily activities. What is a pure substance? According to the chemical definition, pure substances are made up of one type of elements only. And pure substances are of two types, elements and compounds. Impure substances, all mixtures are considered as impure substances. And the classification is conducted with the help of physical properties. What are physical properties? Properties like color, order, density, melting point, etc. are physical properties. Then you may have a doubt what is chemical property. A chemical property may be reaction with oxygen, reaction with water, reaction with acids, etc. Now see the classification. Matter classified as mixtures, pure substances. Mixtures are of two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous. Pure substances are classified as compounds and elements. What is a mixture? When substances get mixed, we can call it as a mixture. For example, mixture of sand and stone, mixture of water and oil, etc. In a mixture, components do not combine chemically or through any chemical change. In a mixture, components do not lose their properties. Mixtures are of two types homogeneous and heterogeneous. How can we identify a homogeneous mixture? A simple example. Fill some water in a beaker. Put some salt into this water. Stir the solution with the help of a spoon. After 10 minutes, can you see the salt particles? Very difficult. We could not view salt particles in the solution. So, we can call this solution as a homogeneous mixture. Means, particles are invisible. There is no boundary or no separation visible. The particles get mixed thoroughly. Clear, no? But in a heterogeneous mixture, for example, a mixture of sand and stone. Whatever mixing process you completed, you can see sand particles, stone particles separately. So it is a heterogeneous mixture. The general properties of homogeneous mixture say all solutions are examples of a homogeneous mixture. The particles of a homogeneous mixture are less the one nanometer. A homogeneous mixture does not show Tyndall effect. So what is Tyndall effect we will discuss later in the last part of the chapter. Classification of mixture as homogeneous and heterogeneous. General properties of a heterogeneous mixture. Most of the mixtures are heterogeneous except solutions and alloys. The constituent particles are present uniformly in a heterogeneous mixture. The components of a heterogeneous mixture can be identified easily. Now, Mixture is again classified into three types based on the particle size. 
the three types are solution colloid and suspension how can we identify them conduct a simple test that is the previous example itself fill water in a beaker and add some salt mix the contents thoroughly keep it on your lab table now in a second beaker fill water and add a cup of soya mix them thoroughly and keep this beaker also on your lab table thirdly fill some starch solution in a beaker and keep it on the lab table after 20 minutes have an observation of the three mixtures from the first content or from the first beaker nothing is visible from the second beaker we can see the separate layer of particles layer of water layer of soil and in the third beaker particles are somehow we can manage but not clearly so the first type is called solution and the second one suspension and the last one a colloid prepare short notes after watching this module and if you have any doubt clear the doubts by making a contact to me today that's all thank you